Hi, my name is J.R. Tallman, and in this NetSuite tutorial, I'm going to take you through how to mass delete thousands of transactions or records with Soligo Integrator for free. The first thing we're going to do is to make sure that we install the integrator.io bundle within one of your NetSuite environments. I'm currently working on a development account, and you can find this underneath the tab Suite Apps. So if you just click on Suite Apps, this will take you into the Suite App Marketplace. And from here, you'll simply just search Soligo, and you'll find the two Soligo instances to install the integrator.io bundle and the Soligo SuiteScript 2.0 Suite App to install. Once those are installed inside your environment, what we're going to do is to find the list of records or transactions that you want to delete. So in this particular tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete customers within the Soligo integrator application. So I'm going to go to list relationships and customers. And what I did here is I imported a bunch of test customers that I want to be deleted. Now, as you can see, it's already sorting by internal ID, and this is going to be the key. So the benefit of this solution is we can delete thousands of records at once. We don't need to use a script, and we don't have to use mass inline editing to delete limited records at a time. This can support thousands of records that we want to delete, and it supports all the transactions and records within NetSuite, which is great. So for here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to export this out, and I want to make sure that we have the internal ID within our list of records that we want to delete. That's all we need to do. We just want to make sure that we have the internal ID. So this is sufficient if I export this out to either CSV or Excel. The integrator application actually supports both versus the native CSV imports. It only supports CSV. So I'm going to export this out to CSV. All right, I've exported this out to CSV. Here's my Google Sheets with that exported data. And now for here, I can keep all the columns if I wanted to, but frankly, I don't need anything else on this. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete everything and just keep the internal ID of the customers that I want to delete. So this is perfect. And then I can go and export this out to CSV and save it. And this will be used for our import in just a moment with the Soligo Integrator application. All right, the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go to integrator.io. If you have an account, you can go ahead and sign in. If you don't have an account, it's free. You can just click on sign up and that will create your integrator.io account. So I'm gonna sign in. Again, feel free to sign up, it's all good. It's all free, what we're doing here, uh, and it will work to your benefit. All right, once I've signed into the integrator.io application, you can see my screen here. You can either click on create here and you can create an integration. If you'd like to just make sure that you have a folder or if you already have a folder like myself with this dev, which we're gonna be using, I can simply click on this dev and go into this folder. I don't have any integrations running, whether they be flows or data, but this is gonna be a data loader exercise that we're gonna be doing. So what I'm gonna do is in the top right hand corner, I'm gonna simply click on load data and it will bring this page up and I can simply call this delete customer records here at the top. All right, so I gave this a name at the top, delete customer records. And remember, this can be any type of transaction or record within NetSuite. So just keep that in mind here. The next thing is, is the data loader itself. So we're gonna to to click on the data loader icon and we can give this a name for the export. This is just gonna to be to look up the file. And then the file type, whether you saved it as a CSV or Excel, you can go ahead and select that. I saved this as a CSV. And then you can go ahead and choose your file here. All right, once you've selected your file, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure is this file has header. Go ahead and select that because I have a header here. If you wanna go ahead and click on preview, you can preview this. Remember, all I had was my internal ID column header and then my list of internal IDs. It's as simple as that. Then simply click on save and close. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on add destination on the right hand side. And from here, you can go ahead and start typing your name for the application, which is gonna be NetSuite. And we'll go ahead and select NetSuite. All right, once I've selected NetSuite as the application, you can go give this a flow step, which is gonna to be to delete the actual customer records. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on next here. So once you've clicked on next, it will name your import, and this is a NetSuite. Now you will need to give it a connection. So the first time you do this, you will need to click add connection. And it's very easy here. If you click on add connection, all you're gonna to wanna to make sure to do is click on automatic here and select your account ID and save and authorize. What that will do is it will link to NetSuite directly as a token and it will authorize your account. I do recommend to be in the correct role that has access to delete transactions or records. All right, so I've already set this up. So I'm gonna go and close this out. All right, once my connection has been selected, you can see this is online, so this is perfect. I don't have a one-to-many, it's simply an, an internal ID, and then I have my record type. Remember, this can be any record type or transaction within NetSuite, which is a great deal here. So I'm gonna go ahead and simply type in customers and select customer here. 
Then the next thing here for my operation, I'm going to simply click on delete. And how Soligo will know to delete the records, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this lookup criteria. So it needs to make sure that we have that internal ID there to know what records to delete. So I'm going to click on this lookup criteria, and I'm going to simply click on an add filter here, and I'm going to map internal ID to internal ID. All right, this is my column. I only have one column, and these are all the unique values for NetSuite that you can actually do the lookup against. Once that's done, I'm going to simply click on save and close. And you can save and close here. All right, perfect. So once this is set, you can go ahead and click this little run now in the top right hand corner, and this will run the Soligo flow and it will delete all those transactions that you have listed in your imported file. And the nice thing about this is you can see it looks up the file. I had 99 within my file, and then it will actually begin the process of deleting those records down below here. And this will go pretty quick. Uh, it's much better, again, than actually doing the inline editing uh, or a script because you can reuse this for any transactions or records moving forward. And this is completely free, which is the best part. All right, so it completed. You can see the time when it completed here, and it was successful for all 99 records. Then you can swap back into NetSuite. So if I swap back into NetSuite, all right, once I'm back into NetSuite, you can see the 112 records that we initially began with. And if I go back into any of these 112 and I simply go into one of these, it's going to say the record does not exist. So it deleted all these records that you can see are on this list. So it's a very easy solution. And I know I did for customers, but if you have invoices that you need to delete, revenue arrangements, vendor bills, any of that nature, you can simply use this moving forward. Just go back to that integration, select your file, change the record type, and you're good to go. This concludes the tutorial on how to delete transactions and records with Soligo. I hope you found this quick video helpful. Please like and subscribe and comment if you have any questions. Thank you.